Air forecast. All right, uh, good evening, folks. And I showed you this last night, this cloud pattern associated with a very African subtropical jet stream and how that's going to result in a couple of days of significant rain across our area. Now let's talk about why. The subtropical jet stream is stronger this year because of a strong El Nino. Why? Well, the El Nino pattern means warmer sea surface temperatures in the eastern Pacific. That translates into warmer, lower levels of the atmosphere, which means a stronger jet stream, more energy being transferred across there. And the result, well, we're seeing it. We're going to see a fairly decent rainfall amount, and already we're above normal in precipitation so far this year. 44 degrees this morning, though. Very low temperature out there. 71 this afternoon. These numbers still a tad below normal, but they're going to moderate as that moisture continues to increase our cloud cover across the area overnight. All right now temperatures in the 50s and 60s, some lower 70s across the state. But what we're seeing is temperatures hovering in the 60s across the board where we are, and they're really not going to drop that much lower overnight. 48 to 50 in the inland areas, 50 to 60 along the coastal zones. Cloudy, a little cool inland, but fairly mild along the coastal zones. And the wind forecast shows that persistent east and southeasterly flow that's going to keep the moisture in place. Now, somehow we just lost our data there, but let's move right along here because our dew points are the reflection of that southeasterly flow. And look at this moisture coming in. Just yesterday we had dew points in the 30s, our 40s, 50s, and 60s the next couple of days. And that's setting us up with enough moisture for uh, that rainfall later in the week. So tomorrow, yeah, cloudy skies, fairly mild, upper 60s to lower 70s, about what you saw today. But we're going to see a little bit more breeze tomorrow afternoon under mostly cloudy conditions, breezy in the afternoon in the coastal waters, upper 60s, and the moisture uh, is going to keep coming in with that east southeasterly wind at 10 to 20 knots. That does make for slightly choppy to occasionally choppy bays and two to three foot seas. But here is the change. Yesterday, this high was sitting over us. Now it's in the northwestern Gulf of Mexico, heading off to the east. And that keeps that moisture content moving on into the area. And what we're eventually going to see is rain begin to show up across South Texas. And that pops on in Friday. And that's going to be fairly significant. That's ahead of a cold front that will really chill things down coming into the weekend. There's that subtropical moisture moving across here. And it's going to mount to fairly decent amounts of rain. This disturbance in the northern stream, well, that brings colder air in for the weekend. And how much rain are we talking about? Well, it's going to be substantial. Take a look at this. This is accumulated rainfall that takes us through Sunday morning, and that's two to two and a half even more rainfall. That's a lot of rain over a couple of day period. Now, overnight tonight, yeah, it's going to be fairly mild out there in the middle 50s, back up to around 70 or so tomorrow. And over the next seven days, well, your Valentine is looking cloudy but nice. And then the rain chances begin Thursday afternoon, really ramp up Friday and taper off Saturday as colder air sweeps in, a high only in the upper 50s on Saturday, low around 40 Sunday morning, and then clearing out for your President's Day and also warming up.